Hello, this is Adventurous Papa. I'm here with another exciting vlog. Today, I'm taking you on an amazing tour of Mai Tho, Vietnam. Mai Tho is a scenic city located in the Mekong Delta and is known for its beautiful nature, cultures, and food. So come along with me as I explore Mai Tho and get an insider view of this unique destination. It is the biggest Buddha pagoda in Tianjin province and the most popular among Mai Tho attractions. The pagoda combines all the specialties of Chinese, Vietnamese, Khmer's, and European style in its architectures. It also features three huts, Buddha statues, the standing Buddhas, the laughing Buddhas, and the reclining Buddhas. Beside the impressive Buddha statues, the gardens around the temple are gorgeous. The Laughing Buddha symbolizes happiness and good luck and has become a deity for good fortune around the world. It represents Gautama Buddha during his last illness, about to enter the Parinibbana. On visiting the pagoda, you can take your time to walk around, get yourself some fresh air, take some photos of its marvelous structures, and pray for good luck and happiness. Everywhere you look, there are vibrant colors and range of cultures that come together to make this a truly unique place. The standing Buddha represents Amitabha Buddhas, who symbolize ultimate bliss and compassion. This is a great place to learn more about the area history while enjoying the peaceful atmosphere. This is one of the best thing to do in Mai Tho. Mai Tho is located on this mighty Mekong River, which has several branches with smaller rivers, which are then connected to each other by different channels. The boat will take you from the local pier to four islands to the rivers Long Lan Kui Pram representing the dragon, the unicorn, the turtle, and the phoenix.
Discovering local life can be perfectly combined with a local dish. Here, you can enjoy fresh and delicious food while listening to traditional music. Eating a meal in such a peaceful atmosphere is surely unforgettable experience. We visit some local eatery where we can try some of the local dishes and the freshest uh, seafood around. And we try a famous sweet treat at one of the city's famous honey farms. Here they serve you sample of delicious honey. Mitre is also famous for its market and bazaars. Here you can find all sorts of handmade goods from traditional handicraft to modern clothing. Next, we will take a boat trip on the rivers, stopping to visit some of the islands and gardens. This is a great way to experience the nature's beauty of the area and feel closest to nature. Trip, you can admire evergreen plants and the airy atmospheres and also see the locals living with nature factors in harmony. On the islands, you will find many fruits and vegetables plantations for which the Mekong Delta is known. Here, you can watch how the crops is grow and you can try delicious seasonal fruits. There are also many local factories and shops that produce their own products such as the production of coconut candy.
This is great souvenir that you can give to your family and friends. Another local product is Nick Wai. The base is rice wine that is pounced over a snake and left to famine. The Dong Tam Snake Farm is one of the largest productions of snakes venom for locals and exported use. This farm features collections of animals including crocodiles, turtles, especially meat. There's a wrap. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy exploring this incredible city. Until next time, goodbye.